A first carry now for Adrian Peterson. Call it a gain of four on first, and that'll make it second down. It'd be hard to say that the defense wouldn't be ready for a first down run. When you can gain that kind of yardage against a defense, it's really kind of geared to step that play. Your confidence has to rise, and now you've actually opened your playbook. If you want to throw the ball now for play action, you're good to go. Now a shotgun snap as they'll look to throw. And his throw is incomplete. Tremendous coverage there. Just did not catch the football and complete the interception. But what do they say all the time? He had really good hands. He'd be playing offense. And ready for third and six. so tough to defend after the catch. It, it, it just happens so quickly. And really, it what gets set up there is how quickly everything happens. Ball's out of the hands of the passer in a hurry, and he just takes it and goes. And he went all the way into the end zone. Minnesota offense set to take over again. Now Peterson able to get away. That's why he keeps the legs churning. And now they're going to get him down right at the line of scrimmage. Looks like the defense in press coverage here. Looking to throw. And the Falcons get there. The Falcons get the sack. Down he goes. They'll wind up losing 10 on the sack. And it'll lead to a third and long. And the defense will try and pin their ears back and get pressure again here after the sack. It's third down. From the shotgun, he'll look to throw. He's going to let this one go deep. Oh, this is taken in. It's complete. And all the way down to the 39. It's a big one there. For the Vikings, 47 yards. And they talked about how important the passing game was going to be against that defensive look. Good job there going to the air for the first down. It's all about preparation. It's all about planning. And then it's about execution. So put it all together in practice. Okay, this is what we think we're going to see. This is how they get to it. And then when the game comes, read it and attack it. The linebacker, William Compton, in on the tackle. That's a good play by the guys on the defensive side of the ball. Held him to a lane of two. And that changes the playbook a little bit now for the guy calling plays. Second and eight. Now he's got a pass. Touchdown, Vikings! Adrian Peterson, his ninth touchdown of the season. And the Vikings have taken the lead. here on first down. He's going to go for a big play downfield. That's caught inside the 20. Touchdown, Vikings. Adam Thielen. Hit. Now the Vikings offense gets set to take over here. And last time the formula was pretty simple. One play drive, long pass. That maybe they just want to do that again, right? And that's exactly how you want to draw things up. Whether it's on your grease board, right, in your playbook. One play drives exactly what you want on offense. What they have to be careful of is not having a letdown. It was real easy last time. They can't expect that going forward. Man, we'll see if it's that easy here. 
And now with that completion, he's north of 200 yards here in the first half. And he's going to break our statistician, Marvin, isn't he? But Marvin right now is just tallying it up. Hope his hand doesn't hurt too much during this. Or keeps hitting the calculator, but my goodness, what a start he is off to. By the end of this game, Adrian Peterson off to the races. Touchdown, Vikings. Adrian Peterson, his 10th touchdown. Minnesota. Peterson. And he's got some space here. And he takes this one just shy of midfield all the way to the 49. That goes for 24 yards. All right, I've got to be careful here. All right, he's on the plus of 30. There may be a little gray in the beard, but that's not still on his feet as far as he can. Well, geez, I'm on the plus side of 30. Well, if you're on the plus side of 30, you don't know what I'm on the plus side of. <laughs> All I know is that run right there, let us know there's still some life in those legs. Absolutely, still got a lot of life left in those legs. It's a loss of two there, bringing up second down. Now that was well defended, and as a cornerback, what you're taught when you see a wide receiver screen, either you get underneath the play before the blocking forms, or you're going to have to fight your way through it by getting through some blocking. That was a really nice play there. He'll drop the throw. And a quick throw here. That's complete. And he'll lose yardage on the play back at the 45-yard line. It's a loss of two. Now third down. Completed the screen on the perimeter, but, boy, that was textbook defense. Exactly as you're taught play against a receiver screen, and they snuffed it out for a loss of yardage. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. Trying to lay one up deep. And incomplete. He can't hang on. Would have been a nice catch. Instead brings up a fourth down. Offense is dialed up. And now out comes Minnesota. And a tight game after punting last time. See if they can get something going on. Strike. Is it the field now with the game this close? You've got to feel there's a sense of urgency for them going on offense right now. But they have to do it without letting panic creep in and if they're playing. They got 18 yards out of that one, and it gets them a new sounds. And with that completion, he's now north of 200 yards here in the first half. Boy, a tough start for the secondary defensively. It is, and it's got to put a dent in their confidence. And, you know, you always want to keep that up and feel like you can always bounce back after plays. But with the kind of nose he's putting up, here it's starting to wear on them a little bit i think so they're looking at each other and trying to figure out what defense will work and how can they play better without getting beat up for big passes a reminder coming up here at halftime we'll ship you off to orlando larry ridley will have first half highlights and analysis lr plenty show this could be a busy man at intermission on first down he'll drop the throw He's got the connection over the middle to Diggs. It's a pickup of 19, and that leads to a Minnesota first down. One of the selling points of the in route is against the quarterback. A really nice sight line to his receiver. Almost on a direct shot, able to throw the ball into the middle of the field and have a great chance of success as they did on that play. Back to throw now on first down. Surveying the field. And no escaping this time. They got him for a sack. And play like that really hurt play calling. They had a really nice gain on the previous play, but gave about half the yardage back on the sack. Excellent pressure up front. Nowhere to go with the ball. Down he goes. Now a shot and snap is still looked to throw. And a hit jarred it loose. It's incomplete. And he's certainly not a guy that drops football very often. Indeed, because that's a bit of a surprise. I know he's in the middle of some traffic and people, bodies all around him, but he usually has the focus to haul that one in. And some secondary help here for the defense and the Nick on third and long. Out of the gun, they'll look to throw. He's going to air one out. 
And this is caught at the 20. A big play there just before halftime. 49 yards. Well, we haven't been shortchanged on offense. Another fun play to watch there on the deep pass. This game has the feel of what, a, a turkey bowl, a Thanksgiving day. You know, when we get together this year and the Davises and the Gardens get together, that's what our playbook's going to look like. Let them draw them up the dirt. And so far, it's working for both of them. Caught on the right side by Treadwell. Just a yard on the catch there. It'll be second and nine. Now hold everything here. We're going to get him out by the offense. It's just their first, so they'll have two remaining here before we get to halftime. They'll stick with the passing game as he looks to throw. This will be caught at about the six. It's a good gain of 11, sets him up first and goal. So in the second quarter, he's already up over 100 yards receiving now. And isn't 100 the magic number for a really good game for a receiver? So he's got a chance to really shatter that and have a profound effect on this game. And here's play number six on this drive. So we've reached halftime in a wild first half. We'll take a minute to catch our breath as we'll send you down to Orlando as we check in with Larry Ridley and our EA Sports Time Report. Larry? Thanks, Brandon. Thanks, all, And welcome to our EA. Yeah, then. Starts with a run by Peterson. And he powers his way up past the 30. It's a six-yard pickup, and it gets him to second and four. Offensive linemen love creating space for their guys carrying the ball. But when that guy also breaks tackles and creates extra yardage, they almost feel like he's one of them, and they really embrace him. Now they'll throw here out of the gun. And incomplete. A nice hit, jars all free, and brings another down. Down here for the offense after the incomplete pass. Here we go now. From the shotgun, he'll look to throw. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. He could not get away that time, and it'll be a loss of... They come out here in the eye. Back to throw now in his own end zone. And the tip there altered the ball flight, and it falls incomplete. It'll be second down. Well, we're not playing three yards in the cloud of dust football anymore. I kind of get why those old school coaches sometimes didn't want to throw the football. Because if it's popped up in the air, it almost turns into slow motion and both sides trying to get to the football and you're holding your breath wondering whether it's going to go good or bad for your team. And complete right side, the tight end Rudolph. A good pick up there, 26 yards. And the numbers, they sort of do the talking. Great game last week, sharp again here in this one. Sometimes you set habits with how you play, don't you? I mean, you start to put things together, you string them together, and the confidence continues to rise. And guess what? We're seeing that happen in front of us. Back-to-back -back weeks of really good play. And the confidence certainly must be continuing to grow. And it pops free. The collision there jarred the ball loose and brings up second down. So much of this game is focus and concentration. And whenever I see guys running the in route, I know that in the back of their mind, always wondering who's lurking inside that might put a big hit on them as they try and catch the ball. And second and ten, he'll look to throw again. And his throw is going to be incomplete. So still a full ten yards to go here for the offense on third down. They come out five wide, three of them to the right side. All right, here we go. Blue lining. Blue lining. On third down, he'll drop to throw. He's going to hit his man out of the backfield, complete. And they convert on third with a gain of 22. 
And we continue to see another example here of offenses just going for it. And this game has really turned into a receiver's dream and a defender's nightmare because no one's being stopped throwing the ball downfield and points are going on the board. He's going to launch, and that's caught inside the 30. And he takes it down deep into Atlanta territory. So after that big play, let's see if they can catch their defense maybe on their heels. Inside the red zone here. They'll look to throw. And it's caught right at the 10 yard line. It's a good eat of 11. Sets him up first and goal. And on that last play there, he's over 400 yards passing now. You know what that generally means? Success. <laughs> that, and it means you really didn't miss opportunities. Usually very accurate. The ball's getting to the right place. Guys are making yardage after the catch to help you out that way. I mean, the whole team has picked it up. And don't forget, that means the offensive line has had to protect pretty well, too. Everyone dialed in. A good run of six yards there. Gets them closer to the goal line with second down coming up. Boy, will these guys be without his performance on the ground? That puts him over 100 yards now for the afternoon. And I tell you, he seems to be getting stronger as the day goes along. They'll run for it with Peterson. And he'll get blown up behind the line of scrimmage. Back at the six. So he loses three yards there. Now third down. So backed up to the six now. Third and goal. Now a shotgun snap as they'll look to throw. This will be caught at about the five. Two yards is all they'll get on the completion. It's fourth down. So much about this game, just understanding situations and then having to execute, isn't it? Guard the first down sticks. Don't let them get there. And they rallied and made the tackle. his way forward for a couple up past the 30. And that last carry puts him right at 100 yards for the game. So how has he done it? Because he's been patient, followed his blocks, let everything develop, and then burst through for big gains. They run in with Peterson. And he is going to lose yardage here. He lost two there. And it's third down. So, Brandon, when this offense gathers together to watch tape for this game, they're going to be feeling pretty good about themselves until the coaches get upset about the play we just saw. But you know their defense is going to be. But we put up big points all game long. The defense is going to win one every now and then. So here we go. Now an extra defensive back in there on third and ten. Out of the gun. They'll look to throw. He's going to sling this deep downfield. And it'll be knocked. And incomplete. Well, partner, I think the defensive fellow's got the memo. They come out five wide, three of them to the right side. Here we go now. Green. They'll try and start this drive in the air. His throw incomplete. Second down following the incompletion. Peterson alone in the backfield. The play action fake. They'll look to throw. The left side caught by Diggs. And they're going to get this one all the way out across the 45. And when an offense is doing a nice job selling the play-action pass, a lot of responsibility shifts to the linebackers. They're the ones that have to determine run or pass and get to the proper places on the field. They'll run it now out of the gun. And a nice little quick spin move before he's dropped. 
And a pretty good game. Eight yards on the pickup, and now they'll have some options on second and short. Some runs are blocked so well, you almost forget that someone has to carry the ball to gain the yardage. The leverage by the offensive line to create space up front, really well done. Here's a play fake as they set the throw. He's got time in the pocket, and he takes a shot on the release as this will be incomplete. When defenses get to the quarterback that quickly, a lot of times it's called a jailbreak. It wasn't quite that fast, but fast enough that he had no time to look downfield and set himself to throw the ball. And as he tried to do that, he was hit, and it forced an incompletion. Third down, it's Adrian Peterson. It's a game of three, and it gets him the first. necessarily just a running down anymore. A lot of times they would throw the ball. They went back to the boots and poured forward and got the first down. Let's go. Now first down. He'll drop to throw it. He couldn't quite hold it. Got hit. All popped out. Incomplete. Second down here after the incomplete pass. From the shotgun, he'll look to throw. Over the middle here to Rudolph. And he gets this one all the way down inside the 20-yard line. A really nice gain, 25 yards. I know exactly what's going to be said about that play from the defensive perspective. What's that? That's why I tell all you guys we need more than one tackler to the ball. He broke the first tackle. Luckily enough, there were more people there to get him down. From the red zone now, they'll look to throw. And a scary incompletion, almost picked off. It would have been their first TNT of the game. Instead, second down. I know in every game, too, we talk about momentum. That was a momentum play lost. And now, there'd be a letdown because they didn't get the interception. You could almost hear the collective gasp on the sideline as he could not come up with that football. He'll try again with the arm here on second down. Throwing over the middle, but it's incomplete. Out of the backfield, Adrian Peterson was the intended target. And that takes us from second to third down. And there's a good opportunity to just want to ride there. A drop pass. I guess that's why they call them running backs and not catching backs. It's been a long drive. This will be play number nine. And they need 10 yards out of it on third. They'll stick with the passing game as he looks to throw. Got a man, and he hits him in stride. It's a nice pickup of 12 yards, and it gives him the first and goal. And in a lot of ways, that catch is expected. Red zone presence, and that was realized. They've got to find your tight end in that situation. Long drive. The defense just cannot seem to catch a break and get off the field. They'll run with Peterson. And he's going to find his way forward here for a modest game. And give him five that time as they draw a bit closer here for a second and goal. That didn't just feel like good defense there. That felt like pride, didn't it? He's already gotten into the end zone twice, trying to get there for a third time. No one likes to have the hat trick against them. They come out here in the eye. They try again with Peterson. And he'll get in. Touchdown, Minnesota. And on the ground they go with a running back. Credit him with a one-yard gain there to make it second and nine. The fourth quarter here, they've got the lead. They want to keep it on the ground. That's what they're doing. Smart football. Keep the clock grind. Keep it going. But you got it here now. They're going to see more people stacked up in the line of scrimmage as they try and bleed it out. Now back to throw. He's got it complete to Diggs. Side. And brought down, but not before they're able to get it up to the 25. They pick up 12 on the play there, and they move the chains. Looking to jam the receivers at the line here. Press coverage look defensively. On first down, he'll drop to throw. And he was hit as he threw it. forces it incomplete. The call would never go in with those protect, but on that last. 
last one, his offensive line, they lost their leverage very quickly, and that's why they were able to get to him and hit him as he tried to throw the ball for incompletion. Firing quickly here, and that's complete. It's a loss of four. Now third down. If you're a selfish player and you're throwing the ball, you're cool with the completion. Maybe not so cool with yardage loss, though. Huh? Yeah, you went you went backwards on the yardage. Hey, it kind of works like a sack for the defense there. Yeah, that's a big play for them, right? Able to figure it out, sniff it out, and finish it off. All right, here we go. Blue 90. Blue 90. Again, he'll drop to throw. Going for the deep ball. They've got it. If he had that one, that was too wide open. That means there was some miscommunication in the secondary of the defense. So after that big gain, let's see what else the offense has up its sleeve. Back to throw now on first down. He's going to let it go again. And this is caught. And he will score. Touchdown. Juan Treadwell, his sixth touchdown of the season. And the Vikings are going to add on to their lead. And there, a post route started out right, caught it in the middle of the field, went into the end zone. What tip? And on the outside, they're playing press coverage. for the workhorse here this afternoon. Peterson. Cards on the pick if there. It'll be second and eight. You know, I'll have to point out when teams break, tend to do something a little different from the norm. But when you run the ball in the first play of the drive, that's not a tendency breaker at all. Just trying to establish yourself as you move forward. Out of the gun. They'll look to throw. Oh, there's that one again. It's complete. And he'll be taken down. Not before he gets into enemy territory. And that last push puts him over 150 yards now on the game, Charles. Now it's not just execution. It's not just performance. It's a mental spec that's going up. Because right now, he's got the defense so much on their heels. Got them looking at each other. Who's going to cover this guy? And what type of coverage can we put out there to try and slow him down? So, back to make games here a great production. Just, you know, his cuts, they're so quick. This weekend, this week. That comes from confidence, I think. He understands what the defense is trying to do. But I think he has so much belief in his offensive line that he's just saying, the block's going to be there. I'm not worried about it. And we saw that last week. In fact, they were so last week on the flight home. I actually plugged in the game and watched the offensive line play one more time. I was so impressed by them. And they're carried over to this week. And of course, when you got a big time runner behind them, that's a good combination. Doesn't hurt. And they'll go with the ground back here. And he's able to get the first before he's taken down at the 36. Just a gain of a cut, but good enough to get the drive run. So the run moves the chains, and here we go on for now. Peterson out in the back here. And they'll give it to him here. And not much running room. Down to the 32. It's a pickup of four. It'll bring up. That's going to break big and go the distance. But when you get a nice game like that, you're able to do so many things anyway. You can go back and run essentially this play right, again, continue to move it on the ground, or you can have to throw the ball now because usually you have the defense back on its heels. And the hit jarred it loose. It's incomplete. After watching him drop that slant, I can hear my old coach's voice ringing in my ears right now. You can't run with the ball until you catch it, trying to get those rack yards before he secured it. Seventh play of the drive upcoming here on third and six. They'll run it now out of the gun. And across the 30 down to the 29-yard line. Three yards will be enough here to bring up. Well, Charles, a game and a city that people may be...